Let's go, girls. Let's take care of our bodies. Welcome to DIY Body with Katherine Holt. Hello everyone, welcome to video number two, DIY Body. Today we are in the kitchen and that means we are cooking. Now, is she working out over there? She should be because we have a message to convey. Not only do we want to eat healthy, we also want to exercise. It's very important that we stay active. Now, let's go ahead and get started with a simple salad and soup. You can make this soup with or without the meat. I do want to engage each and every one of you, no matter what kind of eating style you may have. You may be a vegetarian or you may do that on a scheduled basis, like something with your church. I know our church goes through fasting where we go without meat or something else that we tend to overly indulge in for a period of time. So I want to share recipes like this with you that you can be a little flexible with and simply enjoy. I love this soup. My husband loves this soup. We love this salad. It's very simple and it's very pretty to look at. And when food is pretty to look at, you want to eat it. So let's go ahead and get started. I love eating light and lean. However, some things I do indulge in, so don't be confused that I'm only going to do soups and salads on this channel. I'm going to show you how to cook other foods as well. Now this summer, my husband and I, we really want to eat fairly light. When you live in a place like Georgia, it is super hot in the summertime. The last thing you want to do is be overstuffed and have just, I don't know, indigestion all day long because you've just gotten full. The heat just gonna make you lazy and wanna lounge around and we wanna remain fairly active. So I'm gonna share with you a quick soup that both he and I have come to love um, and it's something that I found in a magazine and I put my own little spin on it and it's basically called a um, sausage and bean soup but nevertheless, I kinda renamed it and I call it the bean and slaw soup and it makes a big difference because I'm getting my vegetables and I'm watching my sodium intake. Now I have here two cans of northern beans. You're going to drain those, um, rinse them really well because as you know in the can it's lots and lots of sodium. Right here it's 460 mg's in just one can alone so that's a lot of sodium, so we want to rinse, we want to get rid of all that sodium that's been preserving them in the can, or at least as much as possible. The next thing I added to the recipe is a low sodium chicken broth. It puts a little bit of a fresh taste into the actual broth, or shall I say the juice of the soup itself, because you do add water to thin it out, but you definitely want to maintain some flavors. And then, of course, I have here my Italian sausage. Italian sausage is so loaded with seasonings anyway. And if you can find the turkey Italian sausage, this is perfect for this recipe. Now, this is mild and they do make it hot and sweet. I love the mild because it's just hot enough for me. Now in this mild sausage, I can taste the peppers, the fennel seed, and the paprika, and they all mix very well together. And it is indeed a little spicy, but I love a hint of spiciness. The other ingredient that you have here is a spaghetti sauce. One 24 ounce jar of spaghetti sauce, and you can get your choice. You might prefer Prego or some other brand out there. I love the Kroger Private Select brand, and the reason why, this one's all natural, and I actually taste the flavors of everything in it, from the roasted garlic and the tomatoes. You can actually taste them, and it's a very clean taste. This is the goody of them all for me, and it is the coleslaw. Now I get the coleslaw that has carrots in it because you definitely want to add more A's and B's to your diet. So you got to keep in mind that whatever you're putting into your soups, your salads, make sure it's a combination of all things being healthy and good for you. So let's go ahead and get these ingredients mixed up. You want to go ahead and get the skillet hot and you want to take your meat from the fridge to the heat as soon as possible. You don't want to let meat sit out for 30 minutes or so before you cook it. It's just not safe to do that. So you want to go ahead and get it into the skillet and I'm going to go ahead and let this brown for you and I'm going to continue to stir it around so that it doesn't stick. To 
brown this has only taken about five minutes. Adding my beans, my cabbage, the entire bag. Add two to four cups of water. Now pour in your sauce and give it a good stir. This looks delicious. The soup is going to boil for about five minutes and I'm then going to lower the heat between four and five on my stove. Yours may be a little bit different as far as the temperatures, but that's sort of mid-range for me between the four and the five. After that, I'm going to let it just cook for about 30 minutes. And guess what? This soup is indeed ready. The vegetables are going to be tender. They're not going to be overcooked because you do want to have a variety of textures when you're dining from soft to crisp. Now this is what a slow simmer looks like. So you're not totally evaporating all of those great, great juices that you've got going right now. And you can see how well the actual cabbage in that coleslaw has started to cook down. It's still crisp. This is a good sign that you can pretty much turn this off in a little while and let the heat do the rest for you. Your meat is done, so you're in the safe zone there. But once this cools down completely, you certainly want to either serve it or refrigerate it. Delicious. I'm so happy to include a salad a day in my diet. It makes a very big difference. We have here the romaine hearts. I'm only going to use one of the three. I'm going to use artichokes, reduced sodium gabanzo beans, some black olives. The oil and vinegar here that you see here are gonna be for the salad dressing. We have here a yellow pepper and a green pepper. Green pepper, I'm still not sure if I'm going to use. And then of course, some cherry tomatoes. In my wok, I'm going to add a little olive oil and I'm going to saute these white sliced mushrooms. I'm going to add a little olive oil. Pour in my freshly rinsed mushrooms. pepper. It's going to be delicious. Just want them to tender up. Do this for about five minutes. And you want this to cool down before placing it on your salad. Now while my mushrooms are cooling down, I'm going to chop the rest of the salad. Only using one of the three romaine hearts for this salad. Want to separate the leaves, give them a nice gentle washing, and then chop them. Now, if you're going to serve a salad as an entree, then chill the plate first. Simply put it in the freezer for about five minutes or so, and just get it nice and cold. And then put all of your toppings, your greens, on it. That'll keep the salad nice and fresh. These are looking really great. We're just going to do a little twist of sea salt, just a little dash. That's all we need. Just add a little more seasoning to the liquid, and these are going to season up just fine. I'm going to cook them down for another two minutes, and that's it. They're just going to have a little tangy flavor. Now this must be the summer of the pepper because I don't think I've ever seen bell peppers look so pretty. The red, the green, the yellow, they're all so vibrant and they are so delicious. I mean, this is the best taste I've ever had in any pepper. I think in my entire life, this summer really takes the cake for peppers. Next, I'm adding these beautiful artichoke hearts. Now you can pat these dry if you want. So very yummy. 
We love artichokes. I even love the marinade that they're stored in in the jar. It's just absolutely delicious. It's adding some cherry tomatoes. It's almost right in the middle of the plate. It just puts a pop of color there. Isn't this pretty? Our mushrooms have cooled down, so we're gonna place them. These mushrooms are 100% vitamin D. Again, these would have been white, but I prefer to cook them. I just love sauteed mushrooms. And these are just as cold as everything else, so they look really pretty. Now let's add our olives. Just a few to kick things off, not too many. Going to add our chickpeas. By now I've walked a half mile. Order this at an Italian restaurant and it's called a tossed antipesto salad. Isn't it beautiful? Now you can serve containers of chicken or ham or even um, chunks of tuna to go with the salad. It would be absolutely delicious but I think it's very colorful, serving it in a chilled plate and allowing everyone to just come and just enjoy. Now, a salad this electric and beautiful and colorful, I would do a simple dressing like oil and vinegar. Even a red wine vinegar would be great mixed with a little olive oil. Something very simple and a very fresh cheese. Maybe it's a Parmesan cheese crumbled up or even a blue cheese that's crumbled up, but not too much with the cheeses because you want to enjoy all of these vegetables. Now this was a very filling dinner for two for us. The bowl of soup along with the salad was really filling, but not too stuffed as we say here in our house. I don't wanna be too stuffed. So we were able to do some exercises and walk for like 30 minutes. And these are the kind of meals that you want to incorporate into your routine. Maybe not every day, maybe that's not for you, but how about doing these kinds of meals at least two to three times a week? It is clean eating and I think that you really will enjoy it. Now you can eliminate the Italian sausage altogether and just simply have the chicken broth in the soup and you will still have a great flavor. And I think that you will find that over time you will adjust to eating like this. As far as calories, with a single serving of the soup and the salad, you are around about 600 calories. And that's to the max, depending on how you make the soup. But I want to say that eating light will help you to be healthier and more energized. So you will have energy to do a moderate exercise program over the course of the week. Now my husband has high cholesterol and this is a great way for me to ensure that he is eating healthy during his lunch hour and he really likes this as well. So I'm able to throw in a piece of fruit and a sweet treat. Yeah, I still make desserts and I'm gonna be sharing some of those with you. But to know that he is getting the vegetables and you know the portion of protein that is good for him as opposed to a big chunk of meat at lunch that's gonna make him really sluggish. This is the best way to keep him healthy. Now guys, with the help of an app, I have a portable workout station. You see my little mat there on the floor? I can pick it up and put it in any room and change the view. Now I know it's going to get hot outside and I may not make it out there as early as 7 a.m. because it's still getting a little warm. But you know what? I'm still going to get my workout on. I'm right here in the living room. I could be in the dining room in a corner watching from the window. It doesn't matter. You can just be portable with your workout station. So 
download an app, whether it is Leslie Sansone taking a walk with her and all of the different things that she can show you each and every day on her app, or you can just simply go over to Walmart and purchase one of her DVDs for like $9.99. There's a five mega mile one that you can get and you can play it with or without the music and it's perfectly fine. I mean, just keep moving. That's the bottom line behind all of this to keep your energy up and no matter what, do something. And I encourage you to just do some simple things like this. If you're watching this video in your office right now, taking a break, then hey, start moving with me. And, and you know how I am. I'm probably going to make you laugh a time or two with my rhythm just totally getting all off there. But you can certainly have fun with this. I used to take these things to work and go into the conference room. And next thing I know, I ended up with two or three ladies and then... It grew from there and we were moving the table out of the way but it was a whole lot of fun for us to just do this and you know what what you may start in your home will be contagious to others so something quick and easy starting there at home encouraging you to just get moving I am so loving these giveaways sponsored by GearBest. This is when I actually feel like Oprah. It says be able to give someone something like this. So a guide for the first prize is the hair comb brush. Love it. So since we're getting our workout on, getting all sweaty, get that quick shower and get back into our game and then boom, get the hair back in check with this straight hair comb brush. Love it, love it, love it. You can take it anywhere you want to go from the gym to the office and you're going to be cute after you've gotten your workout on love it now the second prize is the simple touch and slide lamp you can change the color you can set the mood from cool lighting to warm lighting it's very very flexible it also has a timer setting on it so you can program what time that you want this lamp to come on you can take it from daylight to office you can take it from office to bedroom very flexible i love this this is an awesome prize and it's pretty and sleek so this can go from a desk to a night table very, very easily. And then there's the scale, the mini smart fat scale that does so much. It gives you your weight, your BMI, your fat, your muscle, bone mass, moisture. I don't know. It's just unlimited what this thing is going to tell you. Maybe it could be a TMI scale, a little too much information, but it's good for us to have a scale to know where we stand with our weight. Now, I don't have any of these wonderful prizes, but I did consider the reviews on each and every one of them, and I was impressed. I love that I have a scale here that you can actually download an app on your phone and it will keep up with your successes. I'm really impressed with that. And to be eligible to win, you simply need to subscribe to both of my YouTube channels. That's Amateur Decorating Like a Pro and now DIY Body and leave me a comment. The winner will be announced on July the 6th and you will have 48 hours to respond with your mailing address. Remember, your prize is coming directly from GearBest.com. Thank you so much, GearBest. Guys, you're going to be able to find the link to their website in the information box of this video as well. Be sure and check them out. The estimate value of these prizes is $150. Be sure and turn on your notifications so you don't miss the very next video announcing the winner. So there you have it guys. If you have been walking with me in less than under a minute, you will have walked one full mile. It's about eating well and being active so your body can go ahead and process the food and give you more energy. I'm really excited about doing this segment in this way because it encourages me to stay active and it'll motivate you to join me. And I really appreciate your time and attention to taking care of yourself as well. Now, I am not a professional medical person or a trainer. So if you cannot do any of these things or if you are considering doing any of these things, please consult a healthcare professional before you begin any dietary changes or any kind of exercise regimen. I'm truly blessed to have had this opportunity to introduce my new channel to you and I'm hoping that it will become ours. So simply 
hit that subscribe button and I hope that you'll connect to both of my channels. And as always, until next time, stay in prayer and stay healthy.